Hi, my name is Zakiron, and welcome to my video and podcast, Joy is the Key to Everything. Because the only reason you want anything is for the joy and fun of it. So, since you really, what you really want is to be happy, why not be happy now? And by getting happy now, you will create and attract your desires to you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's get happy, which creates what you want, not create what you want, then you'll be happy. That's just trying to fill a bottomless pit. So get happy and make the goodies the icing on the cake, not the whole cake. Hi, my name is Zakiron and welcome to my video and podcast. And, uh, so who am I? I help success-minded people create the happy, abundant lifestyle you love. In my videos, podcasts, articles, books, seminars, and sessions, I reveal the master keys of success, business, money, leadership, relationship, and the law of attraction so that you can create and attract yourself to happy health, wealth, abundance, and freedom that you desire. So if you like this video or podcast, please comment, share it with your friends, tell me how much you love it. Bless them with these amazing teachings. Come check out my amazing array of supportive goodies at zakiron.com so that you can become a conscious, deliberate, creative of reality. And if you'd like to receive my free book, audio and video series, The Master Keys of Success and Freedom to help you create more fun, money, and freedom in your life, go to freekeysofsuccess.info. All right, here we go. Joy is the key to everything. Now, the only reason you want Anything, whether that is love, sex, relationship, money, wealth, success, fame, travel, cars, houses, clothes, etc., is for the joy and fun of them. You want these things for the joyful feeling state. You believe you that they will put you in. The only reason you want political change or environmental change or humanitarian change or better corporate responsibility, etc., is because you believe you will feel better when those improvements are made. So the only reason you want anything is for the joyful feelings you will feel to be, do, or have whatever you want. So that means that all you really want is joy. So that just me that that must mean that the purpose of your life is joy. And the purpose of all life is joy. Because every human and every creature just wants joyful well-being. And joy feels good. So what's not to love? So, could the key be to getting everything you want be as simple as just feeling good? Because since all you want is joy in the first place, doesn't it seem logical that if I get happy first, then whatever I want that makes me happy, that's a similar vibration to how I'm feeling now, which is being happy, will be attracted to me. Seems logical to me. <clears throat> so, if feeling good and being in joy will get you what you want, which is first... To feel good and then second attract the goodies uh, that you want uh, that, uh, that feel good once you've got them then does that mean just by feeling good I am connected to my source my God self and the power of creation hmm well that seems perfectly logical because source God all that is is supposedly all wonderful things and all of creation and the power of creation and, and love and joy and etc. etc. Then Source God must feel good all the time. Seems pretty logical, doesn't it? And if I'm feeling good, then I must be in alignment with Source God. Hmm. And I must be in alignment with the power of creation. Which is why when I'm feeling good, good things come to me. And when I'm feeling bad, bad things come to me. Okay, I think I've got this source, God, creation, law of attraction thing figured out. Hmm. It's all pretty simple, actually. And all of that complicated religion and spirituality mumbo-jumbo just seems like uh, a complicated waste of time and energy now because instead of trying to 
earn or learn my way to some mythical state of enlightenment or salvation. All I have to do is feel good. How cool is that, eh? I don't have to tip the bouncer to get into the pearly gates. I can live my life now as if I am already in heaven. How about them apples? That's pretty cool, eh? I've cut out the middleman. I don't need that middleman. Yay! So that means I don't need a priest or a rabbi or a preacher or a savior or a spiritual healer or a shaman or a spiritual teacher or a guru to get me to where I want to go, which is a continuous state of happiness. And, and there for enlightenment with Source God, Goddess, all that is, I can just do it myself. By getting happy. Yay! How sweet is that, eh? And that's going to save me a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of stress and angst that, hey, I'm doing the right thing already. We're following, you know, I'm, uh, I, I, there's no, I don't have any stress anymore or angst because of of knowing or not knowing whether I'm following the right religion or the right spiritual tradition or the right preacher or the right guru, etc. When all I really need to do is follow myself. Hmm. And follow my own source who is essentially always guiding me with good feeling thoughts 24-7 because if I'm feeling good then that means I am thinking in the same way as my source. Hmm, and my source as God. We're, we're of a similar vibration. We're on the right, same track. How cool is that, eh? How easy is that? Wow, I've just lowered my stress levels by a thousand. Totally cool. I don't need anyone to tell me what to think or how to act or what to believe, etc. Freaking, etc. All I've got to do is just feel good. Sweet, legendary, easy peasy, lamb and squeezy. All I have to do is feel good, and I'm instantly connected to Source, God, all that is, creation. Totally sweet. How easy is that? So now. I can just skip and play and have fun, just like when I was five years old and all of the supposed stresses and worries of life mean absolutely nothing. Yay! Be gone, stress and pressure to act and think and believe certain ways to make everyone else happy. All I have to do is make sure that I'm happy. Yay! I've just, I've just taken the stress be gone pill. All the complications of life are now meaningless and unimportant, especially those things that feel bad to think about. That means I don't have to think about dramas and traumas and people starving or being oppressed or abused. I don't have to think about you know, corruption and injustice and humanity's greed and environmental destruction, etc., etc., because none of that is what I want, and none of that feels good to think about it. And if it doesn't feel good to think about those things, then that must mean that Source, God, all that is, Allah, whatever the heck you want to call it, isn't thinking about those things either. Hmm. And I like being in alignment with my Source. I like being in alignment with God. So I'm not going to think about those things because Source God isn't thinking about them. So what does feel good to think about in relationship to those bad things in life that don't feel good to think about? Hmm. Well, it feels good to imagine everyone being happy and prosperous and healthy and thriving and full of vitality and and having it being able to easily create and attract what they want. That feels good. That's a lot more fun than emphasizing, you know, uh, empathizing with uh, everybody's depression and sadness and poor me. That's no fun at all. It's a lot more fun imagining people being happy and prosperous 
having fun, being fit, healthy, etc. Okay, so I think I've got a handle on this whole life on planet Earth, life in a human body, being physical, being spiritual, creation thing. Wow. It all seems so simple now. This must be how Source God feels. Like everything is cool and everything is fine. Just how it is. And everything is always going to naturally improve anyway because everyone wants the same thing. Everybody just wants to feel good. So everyone is always going to be working and playing, hopefully, towards achieving a good feeling state. Which means life will always improve and expand and grow and evolve just naturally. And I don't have to think about it. I don't have to stress out about it. I don't have to try to get people to act in certain ways so that I can make sure it's all going to happen. Ugh. I'm letting that freaking stress go. I'm letting that pressure go. I mean, that's how evolution works. Everybody just wants to be happy. Everybody just wants to have fun. And it just naturally takes care of itself. So it all seems so simple now, doesn't it? Hmm. The entire universe is infinitely complex. Yes. You study it from a scientific perspective, and a, you know, in-depth spiritual perspective. But the entire universe, all creation, God, Goddess, all that is, all uh, us, soul, spirituality, etc., is infinitely simplistic at the same time. And I don't have to understand every detail of how creation works. All I have to do is feel good and let the universe do its thing. Sweet. All pressure is off. All the rush and angst is all gone. Yay! Ah, I like the relief of that. That feels nice. Relief. Oh. I don't have to figure, figure everything out. I don't have to know the details of everything. I don't have to try to earn or learn everything so that I can somehow get myself to some freaking enlightened state. I don't have to get a doctorate degree in universal creation. I can just be happy in my sweet little five-year-old skip and play and have fun mentality. How refreshing is that. Yay, I get to be a kid again, which is all I wanted to ever do in the freaking first place. Just have fun, and that's all anybody else wants to do. Cindy Lauper had it right. Girls and boys just want to have fun. That's all they really want. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Da, da, da. We all just want to have fun. That's what we really want. No, no, no. So, all right, here we go. I could just keep singing all day. So, who would have thought that the key to enlightened one was to just have fun and be enjoy and be a child again? Well, we should have known because that's one of the main teachings that Jesus taught us. I mean, he obviously had a pretty good good line on things, pretty good handle on things. Okay, sweet. So, well. I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna have fun now. That's, that's that's I'm just gonna have fun. That's it. Fuck it. Yay. So who wants to play? Who out there wants to play? Who wants to play with me? Do you want to come out and play with me? Knock knock. I'm knocking at your door. Do you want to come and play? Hide and seek anybody? Uh, should we go play in nature? Travel anybody? Sailing anyone? Swimming anyone? Diving anyone? Snorkeling anybody? Disneyland anyone? It's time to come out and play. So who's with me? Who wants to play? Now, if you want to play, if you want to experience a life of nonstop joy, fun, and play, if you want to come out and play with me around planet Earth, 
experience the awesome magnificence that this amazing earth has to offer for us to have fun and play. I would be here very, very, very happy to show you how to create that kind of life for yourself where you do nothing but play and have fun and more fun and more fun and more fun and have tons of money to just have fun and more fun and more fun. So go to ilovefreedom.info and I'll show you a video or invite you to a webinar to find out how. I look forward to meeting you. I look forward to playing with you. Let's you and I lock arms together. Let's skip around planet Earth and have an absolute ball together. Let's play, shall we? All right, thank you for watching this video or listening to this podcast. Please comment and share this with your friends and bless them with these amazing teachings. Help them realize that all they have to do is play and have fun and they can be, do, and have whatever they want in their lives. Make all the dreams come true. But most of all, just be freaking happy because that's why we're all here in the first place. Please come and check out more amazing, fun goodies, self-empowering goodies, supportive guidance, teaching audio, teaching audio, videos, products, etc., and help you become a conscious, deliberate creator of amazing reality on my website at zakaron.com. And if you'd like to receive my free book, video, and audio series, The Master Keys of Success and Freedom to help you create more fun, money, and freedom and in your life, go to freekeysofsuccess.info. My name is Zakaron, and I help success-minded people and fun-minded people Create the happy, abundant, joyful lifestyle you love. So thanks again for watching this video or listening to this podcast. And I wish you immense joy and abundance on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And of course, always remember to make life a holiday. Woohoo!